With a hype on the best water, ionizer, structured, distilled, alkalized, oxygenated, on and on, you know the drill. It can make your head spin with confusion. Just like what's the best foods to eat, changing daily, etc. Well, that's true. Um, water, if you looked at the Wall Street Journal last week, I happened to be on a plane flying back from Europe, and uh, they were giving out papers, so I occasionally look at what that group is talking about. And they were talking about one of the fastest growing businesses in the world today is water purification. And that there's so many people and even big companies jumping into this because the green movement finally has gone mainstream and people are getting everything is toxic overlook. And so uh, people who are doing this for profit motivation most often do not use good science on it and throw a lot of things on the market. The other thing is that what has permeated this field of water technology sadly is a lot of new age innuendo and silliness, to be absolutely blunt with you. Uh, water is hopefully two things, hydrogen and oxygen. If you want any more to be in water, uh, you're a mystic. That's what water is, it's hydrogen and oxygen. And remarkably, it is the most important element on this earth except oxygen itself for you. Two thirds of the oxygen the average person consumes comes from their water. So listen closely. Breathing places more, less oxygen in your body than water places in your body, providing you have clean hydrogen, oxygen, water. Now, there's a whole lot of misinformation and bad information out about such things as distilled water. In the scientific community, the only water that has ever been used is distilled water. The reason being is that distilled water has no particulate or anything floating around in it. So in a laboratory setting under a microscope, uh, the likelihood of contamination all is dramatically reduced since all you have is hydrogen and oxygen. As a matter of fact, that type of water can often be used to sterilize things. With that said, there is a slight bit of truth, a little bit embellished, that distilled water is dead water. But why it would be dead water, and that's not the proper term, is, is that it has been heated. That how we produce distilled water is many, many years ago, they looked at how rain occurred. Well, evaporation of the water goes up into the cloud, the cloud moves, and then lets go and rains. Well, the similar thing occurs when you're making distilled water. You have the vapor come up, uh, what is left behind are the chemicals, the parasites, all of the different things we find, sadly, in our water system. It then is taken over to another chamber, and all you have left is a pure H2O. So in that way, it potentially could be looked at as dead. To change that dead, by the way, you don't have to talk to the water and kiss the water and make love to the water. Nothing wrong with that if you're turned on to it. But what you do is you shake the water. And if people really want to become technologically genius with this, they can put the water in a colored, a non-toxic, of course, colored glass and put it on the window cell for, for I, uh, UV rays. You can also put in magnets, you know, balanced magnets at the bottom of that jar. And all of these things are cute and wonderful, but at the end of the day, distilled water is a pure water. Uh, a lot of people have been misled into believing that it robs minerals out of the body. Well, in my life, I've been drink drinking distilled water for 35 years. Uh, University of California, Los Angeles, several years ago, told me I had the bone density of a 22-year-old athlete. So if, in fact, distilled water robbed the body of minerals, I would probably be crippled by now, because if I haven't consumed hundreds of thousands of gallons of distilled water, my name is not Dr. Clement. Number two, there's a water that we use at Hippocrates that is called organized molecule structure water. Now that sounds like a big new age thing, but it's not. In Japan, they set off a scientist to see if there was any validity in some of the so-called healing waters that the elders in Japan were bathing in and saying that they felt better with arthritis and they felt this, etc. 
He went in as obviously a scientific skeptic, uh, came out and became a proponent of it, researched it, and developed company, the very first companies that made molecule organized systems. Uh, for the lack of a better way to say it, they mine minerals from particular areas. One of the group of minerals they put in these systems are able to take biological matter out. The other group of minerals they mine uh, takes chemicals, man-made chemicals out. Uh, gathering that together in between, they put hydrogen and oxygen in a geometrically circular tube and in doing that and running it in circles in a similar way that you'd find coming down a stream or a brook, it organizes the hydrogen and oxygen into a chain-like activity. And so that's where the organized molecule water comes from. Now, why I adapted that uh, several years ago at Hippocrates is uh, an acquaintance of mine literally had a master's degree in water. Up until I met him, I didn't even know you could get a master's degree in water. But I guess so. Uh, the man who leads China now has a PhD in it. What you have to know is he came in and started this whole story to me about how it's great and it charges a cell. And so we happened to have at that point several guests that I knew very well intimately that I'd known them for years. And I asked six of them to come in and to drink the water. Uh, on the microscope, we literally put their b blood cells up. We then had them consume each of them 12 ounces of water and no more than five minutes and 35 seconds, we had tested it again. Weren't we surprised when we found that this, this innuendo that had charged the cell was literally visible when you saw a larger glow factor in the human cell. And so what I knew from that one little study we did, and then I've repeated that hundreds of times over the years since, that what that was doing is helping the human cell prevent free radical damage. Plus, the water was purified, so I took it, sent it off to a university laboratory, and all of the, the nasty things we don't want in water were gone. So we've been using large wellness filtration systems in the country of Japan. It is mandated, I guess, in public pools that they have to use this because it actually helps things like psoriasis and eczema and puts an, an ion charge in the pool water so that it, it re reduces or retards the amount of infection or bacterial or microbial disorders you may find in that. So the two that we talk about are those two, um, because th there's real science, it works, we use it, we test it, we see it. Uh, there's other good systems on the market, just watch yourself. Uh, the majority of this is hype, as you pointed out. The majority of it's not really true, and a lot of them really, really charge an awful lot of money for their products.